all things considered, prices will move into that you know, into that neutral range that you were just talking about, where people will still be buying and selling homes. Right. If you look at what's happened in the countries you mentioned, Greece and Ireland, in order for them to issue debt that people will pay for, they had to raise the interest rate. Yep. If the United States is not going to be able to get this free money forever, and at some point um, the investors are going to want to see higher returns in order for them to continue to fund our deficit. Yep. And if we don't start making the cuts, uh, we're not going to continue to be able to just – do QE3, QE4, QE5, and so on. I know. Eventually, the, the Chinese and the Japanese will stop purchasing the securities from us. And in some respects, I think that's why the Fed has done what they've done is they figure if they're already in the market purchasing the Treasury securities, it'll kind of mask the fact if uh, there's a decline in, in foreign demand. Yep. And it also encourages the foreigners to buy. Yeah. Still, it's being backed by the United States, but I still think that's kicking the can down the road. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been saying that for months now. I mean, ultimately, we're going to have to deal with this. It's just we don't know when all this is going to come to a head. You know what I mean? It could be a couple years from now. It could be 10 years from now. We just really, we really don't know. And the reason that it, we've been hearing since I was a child in the 70s that Social Security was going to need reform, nothing's been done about that in 30 years. Everyone knows that spending needs to be cut, but... When it comes to military spending, you get a lot of resistance, no there. If it comes to social spending, everybody says not there. Yep. If it comes to foreign aid, they say, no, it's too strategic. So any of the spending cuts, uh, no one wants to make. No one has the political will because that's how they get elected, by catering to whatever interest it is that wants that spending. Yep. Whether it's a constituency back home, whether it's a foreign constituency, whether it's a corporation, uh, the politicians play towards how they get elected and how they get funded. Yeah, I totally. So it comes down to what's what's the best thing is cut spending.